Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over some tips and tricks for making getting the Loyal 3 a lot easier to catch in your copy of the Teal Mask. And like our other videos on the channel, just because this is going out quite early after the release of the Teal Mask, if you haven't played through it yet and you don't want any spoilers going into the DLC, come back to this video later, do bookmark it because there are some good tips and tricks that'll make getting the Loyal 3 in the post game of the DLC a lot easier. So the Loyal 3, Monkadori, Pheasantibity and Okadoji, the Poison Psychic, Poison Fairy and Poison Fighting type Pokemon. Throughout your playthrough you are battling against them but after defeating them and capturing Ogapon, they disappear into the Kitakami region. Now after you finish the game and you're into the post game of the Teal Mask you can actually go back to the areas where you battled them initially throughout your main story. Monkey Dory, the psychic and poison type, is in the pond area in the southwest corner of the Wistful Fields, right here on the map. Pheasantipity, the fairy and poison type, is located in the northeast corner of the Oni Mountain. And Okadogi, the poison and fighting type, is in the northwest area of the Paradise Barrens. Now the problem with the Loyal 3 is when you come to catch them, their catch rates are actually at catch rate level 3 which is the lowest of all catch rates that a Pokemon can possibly have, making them very difficult to catch in, in particular, anything outside of a Master Ball, which is obviously guaranteed. But for the majority of us, I'm sure like myself, you don't have three Master Balls just lying around ready to use on these Pokemon. And also, if you're like myself, you kind of want to use Pokeballs that you're going to catch all of them in with the same to get all the aesthetics and things like that. Because these are coined as unique Pokemon. And I'm sure if you've already taken these Pokemon on, you'll have come across these really bad catch rates. Now, the method that I used was done with Within half an hour you can do all three of these Pokemon within 30 minutes. The Pokemon that I used to utilize this strategy was Breloom, it was set to level 100, it had the move set False Swipe, Spore, Mac Punch and Bullet Seed and it had the item of a Focus Sash. The Focus Sash, the False Swipe and the Spore, the most important things on this Breloom, especially with that max speed, just make sure it's set up like that. You'll have no problem outspeeding any of the Loyal 3 when you go up against them to make sure that you can spore them turn one before they can actually get an attack off. Now the next thing is you can do these in any single order that you like. We've marked them out on the map so you know exactly where they are. We are starting off with Monkadori down in the southwest corner of the Wistful Field. So once you approach the pond area where you initially fought it, drop a save in front of Monkadori and use this recipe of six noodles and four four jams this will give you the catch power level two for poison type pokemon because all of the loyal three are poison type pokemon you're going to have increased catch rates on each and every one of these making it a little bit easier for you to actually obtain these pokemon in particular pokeballs that you want if you also do this strategy when it is nighttime in your game, you'll also have a boosted catch rate for using Dusk Balls, which have a higher catch rate, meaning that it does give you slightly better odds of getting these Pokemon. And personally, I think the Dusk Ball is quite a nice choice. For the Loyal 3, the colors match up everything except Pheasantipity, which... Uh, I, I, can't, I, can, I can definitely accept. And if you're in your game and you need to turn it to nighttime, make sure after you've dropped your save, if it is daytime, just close your game completely then come down into your system settings into system and then into date and time. Make sure that your clock is off via the internet and just move your time forward 40 minutes from the time that it is in your game right now. Then go back into your game and the day should turn into night, giving you enough time to take advantage of the Dusk Ball bonus that exists in the game. So with nighttime set up and your picnic set up and your sandwich set up and you've got 30 minutes on your sandwich part, giving you a level 2 catch boost for poison type Pokemon, then go into battle with Monkadori. First thing that you're going to want to do is put it to sleep and then use false swipe a couple of times to get it down to 1 HP. The beauty about false swipe is it will never take the Pokemon below 1 HP. So we'll take it down to that minimum HP number, giving you even better catch odds. Combining this with keeping the Monkey Dory asleep, you then proceed to use your Dusk Balls and you're going to have a very strong odds of being able to catch this Pokemon. So you just want to repeat this process. Monkey Dory wakes up, 
put it back to sleep and just make sure that you're keeping your breloom healthy if you've got a supply of full restores full heals or portions and revives it does help within this battle because there are going to be inevitable times where you do get poisoned or you do get knocked out with your breloom monkadori one of the pokemon that will cause you Probably more issues than the others with its part psychic typing, especially as you are bringing Breloom and it is part fighting weak to psychic type attacks. But with this strategy, putting it to sleep and then repeatedly just throwing dust balls at it, you should catch it pretty quickly compared to trying to catch it with anything else you've been attempting with previously to this method and once that's done move on to the next target Pokemon. Remember, just keep in mind that you only have half an hour of the sandwich power. Um, and once this runs out, if you haven't caught them all, you're going to have to set up another sandwich power before moving on to catch them again. Oh, so with Monkadori caught, we move on to our second target, which is Okadogi. And that is the poison and fighting type, which is in the northwest area of the Paradise Barrens. Once we get to this area and we're in front of it, we want to drop a save again, just in case anything goes wrong with this battle. So we can reset and start the battle again. Just keep an eye on your sandwich power make sure you've got enough left and that it is still dark as well so you're getting that dusk ball boost if you are using dusk balls of course just using the sandwich power to boost any of the catch rates with these pokemon is going to help with other balls as well you don't necessarily need to use the dusk ball going in against these three pokemon once you drop your save go into the battle and use the same strategy as we used against the monkey dory putting it to sleep before it can actually attack and then using a combination of false swipe to get it down to one hp before we then start launching our dusk balls at it and again it doesn't take us actually too long to get okadogi in a dusk ball and we still have plenty of time left on our level two poison catch sandwich so with two down we've got one to go we head over to the northeast corner on the oni mountain where we originally battled pheasantipity in the story in our playthrough and we encounter it here before we enter the battle again just drop a save just in case anything goes wrong but once you've dropped the save, enter the battle and use exactly the same strategy as before, putting it to sleep and using the combination of false swipe to get it down to 1 HP. There's an ability a little bit different from the other two loyal three members as it doesn't really pose too much of a threat to you. It's got more of annoying support options like swagger and flatter that can confuse you so you can hit yourself in confusion. But if you're lucky like we were, you can dodge through the confusion and still land the spores and just continue to put it to sleep. We had a lot of trouble with this Fezzendipity using over well over 20 Dusk Balls in this process and actually managed to catch it in the end when it wasn't put to sleep because we'd ran out of our spores. We had to use a Max Ether to boost that PP back up again. And then in the end, we just give up and started throwing Dusk Balls at it until it was able to catch because I knew it didn't have long left on the Sandwich Power. But... Uh, we did manage to catch it in the end and we still had a few minutes left on our poison catch boosted sandwich so that was quite good and as you can see we have got all of the loyal three and hopefully using this method it does give you a better chance of course like i've already mentioned you don't need to use dusk balls even if you aren't using the other metrics like the day night cycle to boost the catch rates of a particular ball that you want to use and you've got something else in mind that you would like to catch these in Alternatively, if you've got three Master Balls, it's probably a good time to actually use them because these Pokemon are extremely difficult to catch. But this is one method that worked for myself and hopefully by sharing it with you, it works for you as well. It's no guarantee, of course. It just gives you better chances of catching these Pokemon that are extremely difficult already. So if you're having trouble with these Pokemon, definitely give it a go. And if you are planning on using Dusk Balls to catch the Loyal 3, maybe this is a method for for you to go out and get them but if nothing else you know where the locations are and you know the process to go after these pokemon with a false swipe user a status condition as well it's not something that's going to chip away at the hp something like paralysis or sleep is the best with the false swipe user that's why something like breloom is really optimal for these sort of pokemon catches and make sure that you are stocked up on a lot of the pokeballs that you want to go after these pokemon with as well if you are trying to catch these in these special apricorn balls i wish you all the best luck in the world and do let me know if you've had success catching them in these balls down below in the comment section below or just let me know 
what you've caught the loyal three in already if you have caught them in your games yet but good luck with catching them if this is something that you're still left to do in the games i hope the catch rates fall in your favor and you have a lot of luck getting them very quickly in your games thank you so much for tuning in i hope you found today's video useful if you have drop a like do subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye